Jones County is the place that really is what I would consider a, a real jewel that has yet to be polished. But one of the things that keep us from really realizing how great we are is finances. Uh, our community is small, it's about 200 people as far as the town of Trenton, and Jones County probably has around 10,000. I mean, if I had to say one thing about it, it's just a rural community. And everybody knows everybody. If I had an opportunity to speak with our legislators at the state level, I would talk about uh, the need for community development, particularly since the flood. Several storms impacted Jones County. Worst one yet was Hurricane Florence uh, last year in 2018, and it devastated the entire community. I mean, water, water was probably over my head, or at least about right here where we're standing at right now. If I can sit down and talk with the politician, it's just you know to continue to support the recovery efforts from the storm. We don't have the tax base to you know to put the burden on the taxpayer to pay for everything. The Medicaid expansion has not been adopted in North Carolina, and it needs to be because everybody who's voting on whether or not it is going to be received in North Carolina or not, they have good in, good health insurance, and we pay for it. We have to also look at the aging population and the need for more health facilities. The economy's, you know, booming, but the farming side is still struggling. And, you know, hopefully we can come to some kind of trade agreement with China and put these, you know, these tariffs away, and maybe put the commodity prices back up where they need to be for the farmers to make a decent income. When my oldest son gets, you know, my age, where is this country going to be? What's the changes that are going to take place between now and then? So I just think it would just require a lot of personnel that our county is too small to afford to come in to help us make this county whole.